This morning, new help for diagnosing depression could be on the way. Scientists have developed a simple blood test that they say it allows doctors to detect the disorder as easily as checking for diabetes. Dr. Jeffrey Lieberman is chief of psychiatry at New York Presbyterian Columbia, Med Columbia University Medical Center. You know where you work, doctor. It's good to have you here. <laughs> now, I, I've heard that we can't really call this a game changer, but I've heard we can say that it is promising. This is a very exciting study and really a sign of things to come because you know, historically, uh, even though mental illnesses have affected humankind for millennia, there's no diagnostic test. In, in every field of medicine, if you have you know, high blood pressure or a heart problem, a stomach problem, infection, you go to your doctor, he examines you, asks you how you're feeling, and then they either do an x-ray or take some blood. In mental illness, it's all been reporting symptoms and evaluating a person's history. Um, this technology, which is reported in a study in uh, patients with depression, is really going to be a game changer when it's applied because it'll be the first time that we'll have a laboratory test to confirm a diagnosis for mental illness. Because you said it would be like trying to find out if you have diabetes without taking, without checking for glucose. That's right. So the history of medicine indicates this is the uh, really the, the path that all fields of medicine have evolved in. So um, prior to the chemical techniques to measure substances in the blood, um, how do doctors diagnose diabetes, which is uh, basically yeah. hyperglycemia? Um, they took some urine from the patient and they tasted it. <laughs> and if it tasted sweet, they called it diabetes mellitus. If mm. they tasted watery, they called it diabetes insipidus. Well, we don't want to do that. Will it, will it tell you more than simply confirming that you have depression? Will it indicate how you might go about treatment or other mm. kinds of... Charlie, that's a great question. Um, the first benefit will be that it'll confirm diagnoses and it'll be expedite the process of, of uh, making a diagnosis. Also, I think there's going to be an attitudinal effect in our society because more than anything else, psychiatry has been kind of a stepchild. I call it the Rodney danger field of medical specialties mm. that can't get respect. The thing that will change or help to dispel stigma is to have a test which says it's in the brain, it's not just some aspect yeah. of the mind. But to your question, what it, the, these tests will be able to do is to parse the broad syndrome of depression, mm. which is, has, can be caused by different things. You can have depression caused by a chemical imbalance, you can have depression caused by hormonal disturbance like occurs pre or postpartum, mm -hmm. you can have depression that's occurring as a re result of a head trauma. So, these tests will enable to parse depression into these different subtypes. And then the third thing is, is it may help to predict which treatment to use. Well, exciting new information. Dr. Lieberman, so good to see you. Thank you so much. My pleasure.